When I first got my table saw, I didn't really know anything about it or what accessories I might need to make it more useful. So I just started building stuff. And then I'd hit a roadblock. And then I'd either need to make or buy something to make it work. So I started with the essentials and went from there. Safety first. The first thing I knew I needed was a dust mask, safety glasses, and hearing protection. A dust collector doesn't just keep dust out of your shop, it also helps keep dust out of your lungs. So I use a DeWalt dust extractor hooked to the main dust port. In this case, you kind of get a two for one. DeWalt gives you a blade guard with a built-in dust port in case you want to hook your vacuum or dust extractor to it. When you're not using the blade guard, a riving knife helps prevent the workpiece from pinching around the blade and then kicking back at you. The blade is spinning at scary speeds, so keep your fingers away at all times by using either a push stick or a push block. Sometimes you need to be able to shut your saw off very quickly, which is why it's nice to have a safety switch you can operate with your knee. I don't have very much space in my workshop, so I need a stand that folds up and rolls. A stand like this increases flexibility and it gets the saw off the floor. My saw came with a very basic miter gauge. It's not that great, but it's better than nothing when you're trying to do a quick, straight, or mitered cut. When I was ready to get safer, cleaner, and more accurate cuts, I made my first crosscut sled. An additional benefit to a crosscut sled is you get a zero clearance cut, so you get less tear out in your workpiece. Check out this video where I build this crosscut sled, and also check out my website where I have downloadable plans for it. As I started working with longer workpieces, I realized it was just plain dangerous not to have an outfeed table. But my problem is, I parked my car in this garage, so I still need to be able to put my table saw away at the end of the day. So I came up with this folding outfeed table design. This table was a game changer for me, and I honestly don't know how I ever worked without it. If you'd like to see the video for this table, it's right here. Also, I have downloadable plans on my website. As I was learning, I started noticing some tear out in my work pieces. I also had issues with very thin cuts like this falling down into the blade area. This is super dangerous. So the next thing I made was a zero clearance insert. This has greatly increased the safety and quality of my work. If you'd like to see the video on this, it's right here. As I was learning, I noticed that I was using my index finger to hold the workpiece against the blade. Not only was my finger getting kind of close to the blade, but I was also getting little cuts on my finger as a result. So I did a little bit of research and then I found this feather board on Amazon. This feather board holds the workpiece tight against the fence, which gives me a safer, cleaner cut. And it also frees up a hand for drinking coffee or whatever. I'm kidding, that was a joke. I had a project coming up that required me to mill some rough sawn lumber. And as you may have noticed, I don't have a joiner. So I made a long taper jig, which I used to put a straight edge on some rough sawn walnut. But obviously it's a taper jig, so you can make repeatable taper cuts with it as well. Here's a video of the build right here, and if you're interested, I also have downloadable plans available on my website. Next, I want to step up my joinery game, so I picked up a dado set. A dado set has two outer blades and chippers in the middle, which allows me to make clean rabbit or dado cuts with a perfectly flat bottom. If you're only making one cut, you can just use a flat curve blade to do this using multiple passes. However, if you're going to be making a lot of cuts, it makes a lot of sense to take the time to swap out and use your dado set. Seeing as how I just got a dado set and I'm terrible at dovetails, it was time to make a box joint jig. A box joint jig allows you to make quick, repeatable box joints on your table saw. Box joints are awesome because they're beautiful and strong. If you're interested in making this jig, here's a video right here and I have downloadable plans available on my website. The thought of accidentally cutting into my table saw fence freaks me out, which is why you might want a sacrificial fence. A sacrificial fence will take the damage instead of your real fence if you get too close. I don't really have a permanent sacrificial fence yet, so when I need to do this, I just clamp a piece of wood to it like you see here. And finally, my last suggestion would be a miter sled. I do not have one currently, but is on my list of things to do. Here's a picture of one right here. A miter sled is nice for making angled cuts. 
um, very accurately without having to drag out your miter saw. Thank you for watching my video guys, I really appreciate it. If you guys have all of these accessories, I think you're gonna be off to a great start. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and check out one of these other videos right here. See you guys.